Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will demonstrate how to calculate bond price and how to calculate yield rate. Uh, there are two objectives. Determine the purchase price of a bond. Uh, and calculate the yield rate for bond. Uh, I'm going to go through the examples in detail. A calculation procedure. Okay, so the first example a bond with a 10,000 face value is due in 10 years. The bond pays interest semi annually at an interest rate of 7% compounded semi annually. If the yield rate is currently 5% compounded semi annually, found the purchase price of the bond. The purchase price of the bond is two cash flows, the present value of two cash flow. One is, so you are here today, after 10 years, and this 10,000 is the face value means um, it is here, the value is here, 10,000. Okay, this is in 10 years. And what is the present value of this 10,000? So the present value is this one here. So 10,000 is the future value. And the present value, you use this formula. This is one present value. The second present, present value, when you buy a bond, you receive interest payment every half year. Okay, so how much is the present value for the interest you received? This is this formula. Okay, the present value of the interest payment. And this is actually an annuity, okay? Uh, excuse me one second, my little doggy. All right, so I'm back. Uh, so the purchase price of a bond is uh, two present values added together. Where one present value is the future value of a the 10,000, what is the present value of this face value, 10,000. The other present value is the present value of annuity in the payment, okay? Uh, so we need to figure out uh, this PMT, how much interest you received every half year, okay? So I'm going to use uh, Excel to do it. This. Okay. Uh, all right. So the payment PMT equal to the face value 10,000 multiplied by the bond rate, which is 7% compounded annually. Okay. So that is your PMT 350. Um, and once you have this PMT, you plug in this formula. I, I is the yield rate. Yield rate is 7% compounded. Uh, yield rate is 5% compounded annually. So this is I. Okay. Uh, and then you can plug in 
I zero point zero two five FV ten thousand N is twenty because in ten years you have twenty half years. Okay, so let's use um, um maybe let's just um, use Excel to calculate uh, what is the present value. So present value of the ten thousand. This is the first step. Second, we need to calculate another ten present value of the PMT. So you add these two numbers together, you get the purchase price. Okay. So the present value, use this formula here, equal to FV, okay, 10,000, multiply one plus I, okay, and this is my I, raised to power negative N, N is 20. So this is, uh, hold on, um, I missed one zero here. Uh, FV1 plus I raised to power negative N, okay, that is the present value of 10,000. Next, what is the present value of the interest payment? Uh, use this formula here, so equal PMT. PMT is 350, multiply, uh, one, uh, multiply, one minus bracket, one plus I, and uh, raised to power negative 20. So, and this divided by I. So, this is the second part here. And the purchase price, the purchase price, it is just add these two numbers together. Okay. So that is a uh, one method, use a formula. And the other method, you can directly use Excel uh, PV function, present value, okay? So I'm going to do it here. What is the present value for 10,000? Okay. So equal PV, the rate is here. This is the rate, 2.5%, okay. NPER 20. PMT zero, future value negative 10,000. So you get the same number, okay? But I just use Excel function. And similarly, you can do the present value for the interest payment. So equal PV, rate 0.025, number of payment, PMT is negative 350, and future value is zero. Uh, see, they are the same number, and then you just add this number, okay? Equal sum, you get the same number as here. We use the formula, okay? So this is the uh, second method, and there is a third method. Use uh, Texas Instrument BA2 Plus calculator, okay? Uh, to use calculator. Uh, you have to, I will do it here. Much under. I will tell you the calculator steps, okay? Make sure your calculator is set up PY. Okay. Make sure you set up a PY number of payment per year is two. And CY number of compounding period is two. Okay. Uh, so you set up a PY, CY, and then you enter the number. Okay. This 10,000. It is FV, future value. Okay. Uh, and then PMT. No. Uh, negative 350 is PMT, you enter the calculator. Uh, and then uh, when you enter calculator, you directly enter five as interest, IY. Okay. And then 20 is N. Okay. After that, you just compute PV. You should get this number. 
Okay, so this is uh, the third method using uh, taxes instruments BA2 plus financial calculator. Okay. All right, so we've calculated the purchase price of uh, a bond. Um, next, uh, it is still the purchase price of the bond, but the interest payment is not, uh, the number of payment period per year is not equal to uh, interest compounding period per year. Okay? So it is a general annuity problem. Let's read the question. A bond with a 1,000 face value will mature in five years. The bond carries a coupon rate of 7% payable at the end of each year. The bonds are sold to yield 6% compounded semi-annually from the purchase price of the bond. Okay. Uh, in this uh, question, um, See, the coupon rate is every year. However, the yield is semi-annually. They are not the same. So in this case, you always found equivalent rate of payment period, equivalent rate of interest rate for payment period P. Okay, and remember the uh, formula for P, P equal to one plus I raised power C minus one, and C equal to interest conversion period per year, CY, divided by number of payment per year, PY. In this question, interest is compounded semi-annually, so CY equal to two. However, PY, number of payment per year, is one, okay, so C equal to two, okay. Uh, and I, I equal to uh, 6% divided by two, I equal to 3%. So then you plug in this P formula, you get P equal to 1.03 raised to power two minus one, and you get 0 0.0609, okay? And once you found this P, you follow exactly the same formula here. Instead of I, this I should be P. This I should be P, okay? And you can get the purchase price. So that is the idea when you have number of payment is not equal to number of interest compounding period per year, you need to calculate equivalent rate of interest per payment period P. Okay? And once you get this P, um, you can use calculator method very fast here. Taxes instrument BA2 plus, okay? And make sure your calculator is at the end because it is end of year, each year, the payment, okay? You set up PY equal to one, number of compounding period is two, okay? And this is five year, N equal to five, interest is six, future value is 1,000. And the PMT 70, how did I figure out PMT? PMT. It is just the face value, 1,000. 1,000 multiply the bond rate, 7%, okay, and you get 70. And then you calculate P CPT, calculate present value, and the result you get is negative. But when you report the price, it is a positive. So the purchase price, 1,038 and 24 cents. Okay, so this is a calculator method. Of course, you can use Excel PV function as we did here, PV function. You do 
two times calculation for PV are done together, or you use the formula here. And in this formula, N equal to five, I is P, okay, 0 0.0609, PMT is 70, FV is 1000. You plug in this formula, you can get virtual price, okay? So that concludes our objective one. How do I calculate the purchase price of a bond? And um, objective two, calculate the yield rate for bonds. Okay. And we are going to use uh, average uh, man search. Uh, remember this calculation is just approximate, okay? Uh, and this method called average uh, method. So this is the formula to calculate the approximate value of yield, yield rate I, you use average income for interest payment divided by average book value. And how do you calculate the average book value? You add the quoted price plus the redemption price. The redemption price is usually the face value of the bond. Okay, face value of the bond. The quoted price is the, init is the initial book value of the bond. Mm -hmm. So this is the average book value. And how do you calculate average income? To calculate average income per uh, interest payment period, you calculate total interest payments. Total interest payment, it is just a PMT times N, number of payment period, PMT times N, plus or minus uh, discount or premium. Remember when a bond is bought. Sometimes the initial, the purchase price is lower than the face value. That means you have a discount. If the purchase price is higher than the face value, that you bought the bond at the pre premium. Uh, when it is premium, you have to use total interest minus premium. When it is discount, total interest payment plus discount, and then divided by number of interest payment intervals. So that is the idea of calculate the yield rate using average method. Now let's look at the example. And in this example, A bond has a face value of 5,000. The coupon rate is 6% compounded semi-annually. The bond is redeemable at par in five years. The bond is purchased at 94.5, found the yield rate. So let's analyze each number and set up Excel to do the calculation. So, a bond has a face value of 5,000, you type in 5,000. The bond rate is 6% compounded semi-annually. So B equal to 6% divided by two, 3%. At a par, at a par, the bond is purchased at 94.5, means for every $100 face value, you pay 94.5, okay? So for every $100, you pay 94.5. Now, for $1 face value, how much you pay? You pay 0 0.945 for $1 of face value. Okay. N is a number of payment, number of interest payment period. The bond in five years, so it is 10 because semi annually. All right, those are the number given. 
And our task is to base on the average month to figure out the yield rate. So I'm going to do the calculation here. So you can see both. Um, So you can see both the question, the formula, and my Excel, okay? So first, what is the quoted price? The quoted price is the initial book value. Okay, which is just equal to the face value, uh, initial book value, which is actually the purchase, um, initial book value, yes. It is uh, this face value multiplied by this at the par, because this number said for every $1 face value, you pay 0 0.945. Now I have 5,000 face value, how much you pay this amount? Multiply those two together, okay? So that is the quoted price, initial book value. And the discount. So the face price is 5,000 and you pay 4,725, you have discount. The discount is just the difference between face value and the quoted price. Okay. And this is the discount. And you also receive payment every half year. So what is every half year, how much you receive? That is PMT, okay, equal to face value times bound rate, that is your PMT. Okay. Uh, every half year you receive 150. So total PMT, use this PMT times, what is the five year, in, it is 10 payment period. Okay, 150 times 10. And now I can calculate average book value here, see? Average book value, quoted price, plus redemption price. Redemption price is the same as face value, okay? So average price equal to quoted price. This is quoted price plus redemption price, face value, divided by two. Okay, and this is average book value. And then I need to calculate average income, okay? Average income, Count equal to total interest payment plus discount divided by number of interest payment interval. So average income equal to bracket total interest payment. This is total interest payment plus discount. This 275 is discount divided by uh, number of interest payment interval n divided by 10. So that is the average income. So finally, what is the semi, everything we calculated is based on semi-annual, okay? So semi-annual yield rate equal to average, average income divided by average book value. Okay, you get semi-annual yield. And the annual yield, you use semi-annual yield multiplied by two, you get annual yield. Okay, so the final answer for the bond yield rate is 7.3%. Okay, the yield rate. Um, so in summary, what we did in this video, we did we calculated the purchase price of the bond. We also calculated the yield rate using average uh, month. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and enjoy the beautiful weather. <laughs>